Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melda Production, and today I'm going to show you how you can use the multi outs in M Drummer. Now, before when I used M Drummer, I oftentimes used just one track, and that's fine because you have the mixer here, and you can do everything through here, like adding, you know, various effects, etc. But recently I made a project and I started like this and then I realized, ah, I actually do need the separate outputs. And the reason is if I need to do some side chaining off a kick drum, if everything's on one track, it becomes a little bit more difficult. And in this case, I actually wanted to use M Rhythmizer on one of the tracks. I wanted to use it on the hi-hats, but I couldn't separate them. So that became a big problem. So today I'll show you how you can use the multi outs and if you make a mistake like me and you you know finish your whole song you're like okay i did everything but i have everything on one drum track and now i want to separate it i'll show you how you can do that easily so we have this one let's we'll call this like a uh miss for mistake and if i have everything i want here it sounds like this no problem there but the problem is i need the multi-output what we're going to do is we're just going to make a separate group of tracks uh, and we're going to insert it there and then we're going to copy everything from this M drummer to the other one. Now, if you look in your DAW, there should be a way to do this. Uh, in Reaper, it's fairly easy. I can just do virtual instrument on new track and I choose M drummer 16 out. The one I was using previously over here is M drummer one out. We don't want that. We want the 16 out version. It's important. Click add, and it'll ask you if I want all these different outputs. For your DAW, it might be a little bit different, but you'll have to look in your DAW on how it handles multi-outs, but all of them should do this. Just click yes, and now it opened this for me, and I have all of these different outs. Also, these should be labeled. It has out one, two, three, four, but if you look, you can actually see this is bass, snare, I think it's snare two, toms, hi-hats, ride, cymbals, etc. all put together. And there's a few extra ones. Now, sometimes you need these. Lots of times I don't, so I just delete them, but we'll leave them here for now. Now, one thing you'll notice is nothing is loaded in. So it's like, oh, okay, well, this isn't good. So what we can do is just go to our former one that sounding the way we like. Click copy here at the bottom right. Go to our second instance here with a new version. Click paste here. Like that. And then listen to it. There we go. And now I'm just going to delete this because I don't want you to get confused with all these different tracks here. So let's delete our first one. And now we have the exact same sound the way we like it. But let's look at the multi outs as I play it here. You see, everything is going out of out one. You're thinking, what is going on? Why is this happening? This is terrible, etc. What's happening is they're all being routed to this track, which we don't want. If we look in the mixer, you see at the top out, it's all going out of one here, all the way up. We don't want that. Now we can start moving these over like here, out two for our snares and maybe our clap two. And let's listen to this. Now, that could be fine, but I know you're thinking, I have to do this for every single track and move these here. I know that sounds really cumbersome, but you don't. I'll show you an easier way. So we're gonna go out of the mixer and we're gonna go into the drum set editor mode. Inside here, it's gonna seem really, you know, like I'm gonna have to do the same thing, go into advanced here and choose the output channel, but we don't have to do any of that. What we're gonna do instead is go here to advanced and look and it says default output channels. Click on this. Let's look back at our mixer. Now you see everything is labeled going out to different tracks. So my bass drum is still going out one. My snare drum is going out at a track or output two, I should say. Uh, snare drum two is going to output three. Etc. You can see all these are grouped together and they're all panned. So if we play them and we look this time, you should see everything is going out of the correct output.
Now, that's perfect. But you might be thinking, ah, I don't really like all of these assignments. Why is hand clap going out of eight? I want it to go out of output two with my snare drum or snare drum two or whatever. And you can adjust this manually each time. But instead of doing that, or if we do adjust it manually and like this is the way I normally want it, we can go back there in the drum set editor and we can save it. So that way you have your own default output channels and you can just load it like this every single time. So save it and then later load it up. Just cho choose whatever you saved it as and there you go. Another thing that could be a problem is, let's see, I have this here and I'm playing with this drum set, but if I change to Funky Lemon, everything is going out of one again. This is terrible. So now I have to go back in here, choose the drum set editor, go to advanced, default output channels, play it again. Everything's working again. But if you're trying to audition different sounds with different drum sets, this is obviously very annoying. So how do we stop that? We go to the drum set editor and we go to preserve output channels. So whatever I have it set to in the mixer here, these won't be changed whenever I change the drum sound. So just turn this on like that. Now when I switch to a different drum set and I play it, these output channels are preserved. And the same thing if I used one of my saved uh, output setups. So this is just a really easy way to set up your drums and that way you can get it on the output channels. As I said before, bef I thought that, ah, you know, you only need one instance, but this multi-output is actually very good, especially I found for electronic music where I might want to use in rhythmizer, or I want to use a uh, side chain off my bass drum this can be really, really useful. And of course, if you think, oh, I want some other effects, you can put them on each channel or you can do some automation, which might be a little bit easier inside your DAW, depending on what you're doing. So hopefully that gave you some ideas and hopefully this was quick, easy, and painless. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave those down below and check out all the other plugins at meldaproduction.com. Till next time, see you.